Here's a roof that you probably have never seen built before. And uh, I'm saying that because I have never seen it. I came across a image of something similar to it while looking for other ideas on the internet and uh, did my own modifications. But I think something like this would work. You would need to check with your engineer, of course, before you built something like this. But instead of a regular ridge or a ridge beam being supported, uh, having the rafters sitting on top of a ridge beam, um, like for a cathedral ceiling. This actual idea might work for a cathedral ceiling. And uh, just kind of drawn it as another part of my garage roof uh, video series to give you some different ideas for different types of roofs. But we can see here where they lap, except for the gable end where that could be framed like a regular gable conventional uh, roof. And of course, you could always lap these. I thought about that. You could have this right here lapping over here and then just where you had the section that was back a little bit, you would just nail a, a two by six or a two by four to have everything line up here. And uh, that might not make sense to some of you, but uh, won't be going into any detail on that on this video. So we'll stick with this one right here. And the strength of this roof is going to be from its kind of scissor-like action here. This roof, this rafter here is going to connect to this ridge board, which is going to sit on top of this rafter. So this rafter is going to connect to the other rafter here, um, nail it, bolt it together. In the um, picture that I found, it just had one bolt in it and one bolt going through the center. But again, they were two by fours. So here you could actually put a couple more bolts. And uh, of course, the rafter here would, the pressure would, um, from this one wanting to go down, would stop with this rafter and the same on the other side. So I think this could be a, a strong roof. The next step would be to add all of the fill rafters. And I'd like to see them sitting on top of the lower rafters if possible. I think this is going to make it even stronger here. Add a furring strip. This is optional. You don't have to add something like this. This usually allows the um, flashing, the metal flashing you're going to use here. It's going to be a little easier to install it underneath the uh, fascia board. Let's go ahead and throw the fascia board on and then take a look at it. There we go. Nice look. Let's go ahead and look at the bottom. And uh, kind of one of the reasons why I drew this was to give you an idea if it's possible to build it to have a cathedral ceiling, something like this, without any rafter ties. But if you throw the rafter ties in there, it's definitely going to be stronger. Let's go ahead and sheet it and we are done with this roof. So uh, if you have seen a roof like this, let us know. I've never seen one like it. I don't even know if it would be something that could be uh, approved by a structural engineer. You know, something like this built on a shed or something. Yeah, I don't think you'd have a problem with it. I can see where it could be a really strong design. Um, and of course, I don't have a lot of blocks in, you know, you, you could put some more blocks in here and uh, make it even stronger. And that's might, you know, an engineer might look at something like this. And uh, all you would need would be to put a few more blocks in and some building hardware. And you are done. So let us know what you think of this roof design.